morning to you all. Welcome once again to Teach Yourself Maths. In today's lesson 8, we will be looking at problem solving investigation. So, our goal is to, to see how multiplication and division are related. So first, let's learn this strategy, after which we look at uh, a good example. So one thing that's very important in this problem solving is that there are four steps. The number one step is to understand. You understand by reading the question and answer the following question. What facts do you know from the question? So let's read the first one. It says, Somaya won dash tickets. So our interest here will be, how many tickets did Somaya won? So go to the question now, the first sentence. Somaya won four tickets. So we see that for the game show. Another student, Muna won five times as many tickets. So we can use these two sentences to answer the question of what facts do you know? So Somaya won four tickets. Muna won five times as many tickets as Somaya. Very easy. So the next part under step one understand is what do you need to find? So you need to read the last sentence for you to know what you are looking for. Is it reasonable to say that they won 24 tickets altogether? We want to confirm if it is true they won 24 tickets together. So what do we need to find? The total number of dash won altogether. Of course, it's talking about tickets here. So the total number of tickets won all together. So in step two, we plan. We plan what are we looking for? Okay, so remember we have for Somaya, who won four tickets. And we have for Mona, who won five times as many tickets as Somaya. Somaya is four. Okay, so this is what we know. And we want to look for all together. So that means we need the addition of this. So what do we do? Solve in step three. We need to find for Mona first, which is five times four. So if you go to your multiplication table, five times four, we give you, like we see here, four of five groups. Each of this yellow, four, written five times. If you count all together, you get 20. And that is five times four, okay? So your result now, you need to add it to four. So 20 plus four will give you 24. The girls won 24 tickets all together. So step four says we should check. Does my answer make sense? Explain. So let's see. Remember, we have uh, Somaya for four, Amona for five times four, which is 20. So that is four. In five places, four plus four plus four plus four. One, two, three, four, five. So this will give you 20. And also we did the 20 plus that of Somaya four, which gives 24. And this 24 is a confirmation of what we are asked to check if they won 24 tickets all together. So yes, it is correct. Yes, it makes sense. All right, guys. So remember, you have to read and understand the question.
Okay, now we're going to practice this by ourselves. So practice this strategy. Remember, you have to read and understand the question, step one. From there, you will deduce the facts that you know. So go back to the question now. One after the other, we read, Lamia, that is one student, delivers how many newspapers? That is 283 newspapers each week. We have another student, Fahid, delivers 302 newspapers each week. So these are facts that we know from the first two sentences. So we can easily write here that Lamia delivers 283 newspapers. So we know that. We also know that Fahid delivers 302 newspapers. So each week. So this is the fact that we know. So let's continue. What do you need to find? So from the last sentence, we can figure that out. It says, is 400 a reasonable estimate for the number of newspapers they deliver each week altogether? So what do we need to find? We want to confirm to confirm if 400 is a reasonable estimate is a reasonable estimate so in that case that means we need to look for the total estimate in this case that is what we want to find the total estimate they deliver. So this day means a combination of Lamia and Fahid. Very good. So what we need to do now is to plan. So since it is estimates we are looking for this time around, take notes, which means we need to round estimates. The two numbers we have, that of Lamia and uh, that of Fahid, 302. So we need to round this to the highest place value, which is the hundredth place, hundredth place. So for the first one, the number next to it is eight. Eight is a number more than five. So we need to round up. We need to round up by adding one to this cycle number. So two plus one is three. The remaining two numbers turn to zero. So we've rounded up. 283 to 300. For the second one as well, the number next to 3 is 0. 0 is less than 5, so we need to round down, which means do nothing to this 3. It remains the same, so other numbers turn to 0. So this is what we have in our planning. Next, we need to solve. Since it is the estimate we are looking for, and what we are looking for is all together, so which means we had all together. So if we had this, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 3 plus 3 is 6, so we get 600 as our estimate. Remember, we want to confirm if 400 is a reasonable estimate. So you can see there are two different numbers, so check. Does my answer make sense? Explain. So we're going to say no, it does not. So how do we justify this? We can see that since 600, the estimates we got, is not the same as the estimated 400, or we can say is greater, is greater, than the estimated 400. 
so they are not the same okay it's it doesn't have to be this you can always put it in your own sentence all right so that is that for this uh, practice this strategy you can pause it and take a look again for better understanding okay so let's just look at quickly some questions apply the strategy so it's all about reading the question to understand what you are looking for so let's try number one you pause the video and try this number one by yourself afterwards you can play it back to see if you are correct so quickly the table shows the number of dirhams collected by four children. So take note, four children. So this is here yeah, is the table. We have the table here. Yeah? Okay. By four children, Bila, Maha, Asma, and Khalid. Is it reasonable to say that Bila, so we are looking at Bila, and Maha, so we're looking at Maha, collected about 500 dirhams in all so we are looking at is it reasonable to say so so let's see how do we know since our focus is on Bila and Maha so very easy we can do 48 plus 48 plus 52 and this gives 8 plus 2 is 10 you write the last number the remaining one goes up next 1 plus 4 plus 5 we give 10 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 5 10 so we have 100 for Bila and Maha so therefore we can see that it yes it is reasonable yes it is about 100 got in about 100 altogether so that is that you can give another question a try so uh, okay let's look at one of these questions and review the strategies let's just do question number four and that will be the end a truck holds the number of cars shown so this is the truck and there are cars so let's count the number of cars shown one two three four and five so we can see five cars a parking lot has six times as many cars so six times as many cars the number of cars here is five so we have six times five how many cars are in the parking lot so for this parking lot six times five that is 30 so therefore 30 cars in the parking lots All right, guys, so this is going to be the end of this lesson. I'm going to see you in another lesson. Take care and bye-bye.